I'd be saying farm. <laughs> Pigs. I love pigs. Pigs are their meat, their entertainment, they're the best rototillers possible. They're fertilizing the soil. We have a patch of um, pasture that we've put pallets around, a pallet fence up, and um, raised pigs in one year. And then the next year we were able to till it and uh, raise a fabulous crop of corn. So pigs are such a multi-purpose, easy to raise animal. I, I think pigs are really easy to raise. I think that they're a fun animal to raise. They're, they're so much entertainment, you know, just to watch them because they're so inquisitive and they really um, just have these little personalities uh, and each one's unique um, to themselves. And their interactions with each other is really fascinating too. I don't even know what made us decide to get pigs. I think it was just one of our first, we had tried chickens and raising our own poultry for meat and Pigs just seemed like the next thing that people said were kind of easy to do. We had two pigs the first year, and after they had gone away, my wife uh, looked at me and she said, I want to get a dog because the pigs really reminded me a lot of the dogs that we've seen. And so, you know, you throw a, a stick to a pig, it'll run over to the stick and grab it and shake it around, and uh, you know, just like a dog. So that's actually how we ended up getting a dog. They're not like a cow that sits around looking at you. They have amazing personality. They run around, their tails wiggle, they are very observant and they're just a joy to have around the farm. So when we get the pigs, I think they're around 20 pounds or so. They're pretty small um, and within the course of six to seven months they can get up to, I think when the last pigs that we sent out after seven months, um, they were up to about 300 pounds each. When we originally designed the pig barn, um, we made it so that the pig area had three doors. Um, each door would go to a different grazing area for the pigs. And uh, that way we could rotate them through because um, if you keep the pigs in the same pen year after year, they will um, develop parasites, which isn't good. So we want to make sure that we had three separate areas that they could go into each year. And uh, those pens, as we got more pigs, grew in size. We made our pens out of pallets because they were really sturdy. And so we drove uh, cedar posts into the ground and then secured pallet fences to those posts so that they would be pretty sturdy and, and the pigs uh, wouldn't be able to break through them. Originally we had the pallets, uh, the pallets fencing go into the pond that's behind the pig pen, uh, thinking that the pond would uh, actually stop the pigs from be a natural barrier for the pigs. What we ended up finding out was that pigs can swim, and so uh, one day I guess the pigs were out and Kathy was down in the gardens and there was a pig that went running by and so she had to grab some kale and entice the pig back into the pig pen. So that was kind of uh, our experiment with, uh, with using water as a natural barrier. Uh, it's, it's just so fascinating to watch their curiosity about everything. They're curious about people, other animals, uh, foods that you give them. They love acorn nuts. They love, we love to forage the acorn nuts for them. In the past we've gathered acorns, we've gathered uh, um, hickory nuts, um, all kinds of things. We'll be hiking in the woods and we'll just, or, or walking the back hill behind our house and we'll gather up as many of the nuts as we can. <laughs> you know, they, they get a little intimidating when they're up to about 300 pounds, and I mean, 250, 300 pounds is kind of the optimal weight, I guess, to harvest a pig at. And uh, so at the, at the end of their life, so they can be pretty um, intimidating. You know, they'll, they'll push up against you and you know that they're there when, when they do. It's amazing just to watch them eat. It's, it's so entertaining. And on hot days, they like to be cooled down and it's fun to just spray them off with a hose. They just, it, they just get the biggest kick out of it. It's like they're getting this wonderful car wash or pig wash. and. Uh, we have we get 
things called pig kisses, which is when the pig's muddy nose gets brushed up against you. And so, you know, sometimes when I go down to feed them, I'll come back with a with a big uh, uh, nose print on my on my my knee. And uh, sometimes you don't realize that it happened until you're halfway through the day and you start smelling the pig smell <laughs> that's coming from your knee. <laughs> Like what's that smell? Like driving to work, and there's a you look down oh, yeah. on your knee, and there's a big bl uh, you know, blotch on your knee. That's or you'll be like going to a party, and you'll be like, yeah. <laughs> is that your shoes? Yeah, is that your shoes? Or is that my shoes? Is that the chickens? Or is that the pigs? Is that the the goats are the only ones that didn't really have a lot of smell associated with them. Yeah, they're a joy to have around, and I don't regret um, learning about raising pork. It's uh, been so much fun. It's added so much to the farm, not just like entertainment-wise and provided us meat for our freezer, but they have given us um, this amazing uh, soil as an extra. So I can't say enough about pigs. I love them. What haven't I said about pigs? Just. Just being able to to uh, to have that interaction with them, on, uh, you know, on a regular basis, to be able to go down and just watch them for, a, you know, a half an hour just doing the pig things that they do, it's it's really rewarding. At the end of the day, you know, you've done all your chores and you get to just kind of hang out and watch them play and, and be who they are. And I would say that that's it's definitely a meditative practice when you're kind of down there watching the pigs be pigs. It's it just it, it mesmerizes me a lot of the time. Goats and, you know, one right. Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. The best thing about pigs is the grunt, 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 grunt noise that they make. Because <laughs> they're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, okay. Um, grunt, I grunt, was grunt, thinking, grunt. Uh, 